After I graduated from college, I got a professional job as a technical writer, and I was interested in going back into industry once I finished my graduate career. And so I was very attracted to CGU because the CGU, um, the CGU math program specializes in applied mathematics and offers the mathematics clinic where you work on real world problems. So the math clinic and the faculty that was here both attracted me to CGU. My fondest memory was the interaction with the faculty. It was walking, uh, walking around on the beautiful campus, but spending time with faculty members one-on-one -on -one and doing, working on research projects and working on actually real-world problems. That was what was really my fondest memory of being here. I got to lead a math clinic the second year that I was here. And we worked on projects for the Naval Health Research Center. It was just very exciting to work on real-world problems. After I graduated with a master's in, in math and CGU, I went to work for a, a biotech startup in San Diego called Cirix and worked as a scientific programmer working on um, finding small molecule drugs in drug discovery. So I had a very exciting career working in drug discovery and in software development and in um, in just a whole range of biotechnology, several different biotechnology firms, and that was pretty exciting for, for me. There are many different ways that a CGU alum can contribute to current students. So one is mentoring in terms of their professional positions, mentoring their careers. But another is to do what I've done to do, to contribute to either providing fellowships for students or to financial support for an individual department. So I think it's, it's really up to any individual alum's taste, but there's lots of ways that an, an alum can contribute in different ways to, uh, to current students. I'm astonished. Um, it's just a pleasure for me. I, I, it's an honor and a pleasure for me to be able to, part, to continue to participate with the university. That's really what it, it means to me.